So the show is She Kills Monsters. It's probably the biggest show the theater department has decided to do, at least in my time here, but from what I understand, ever. Well, here at Truman Theater, we work hard to provide a variety of experiences for our students. So what we just did was called a fight call, and what that is is we run through every moment of violence or every moment in which the actors are moving quickly over the stage or need to practice certain choreographed movements so that way we know that they don't hurt themselves or that we know that the spacing is okay on the stage. Fighting is so hard because it's mainly a lot of technique and a lot of being in stances and a lot of knowing where to guard yourself so you don't get hit, but also taking care of the other person. Nikki and I have just finished uh, working out the designs um, in terms of like what the costume designs are going to be and what the puppet designs are going to be. The process costume-wise for She Kills Monsters started, really it started last May. I started actually drawing renderings in October. We're coming up on five months of actual active construction time. It's very unusual for a university setting. Um, really, it's, it's a little bit unusual for a professional setting. This is definitely a hugely ambitious project that we're taking on. Um, and really, everybody's really risen to the challenge. And we're just starting to like pull the set design together, which I think is going to be pretty awesome. So we've built, um, these are about 11 foot tall platforms. We've extended the stage out for a good six feet for most of it and it's just a really big set, much bigger than usual. We usually have more concise sets, they're usually a few platforms, maybe an extension of the set. We have ten times that many this time. There is going to be a composed sound, a composed music that will be created by Dr. Charles Grant. In the past, I've often done all the work myself, but I've been looking for opportunities to bring students in and to, for me to be able to share my understanding of how the process works and to kind of teach them, I think, the tools that they could use if they wanted to do this kind of work themselves. I'm not a music major, actually. I'm a, currently a chemistry major, junior year. I just like music in general. I've been doing music ever since around like middle school, and so um, any opportunity that I have to pursue that is something that I kind of jump on. I am the sound designer, so I put together all of the sound cues, um, decide the d general design of the show, and uh, work with the production staff on any sound aspect of the show, along with my assistant sound designer, Gabe. This is my final show, and it also happens to be the biggest show, um, as far as sound effects wise, that I've done my entire time here at Truman. Bailey is my assistant director. She is going to be heavily involved in all aspects of, of trying to create the show. Because there are so many teams, the communication between them all, you can't have everybody in the loop. <laughs> it's just kind of the way it was. So once we pulled everybody in the same room, everything basically was a problem and everything took a little bit of tweaking to make it all work together. So that's been the biggest thing, was just getting everybody together to finally make it all click <laughs> and link. We are opening She Kills Monsters. It is our last show of the season. We've been working all year to put it all together. It's been a wild ride and it's all coming to a head right at this moment.